Hello, just a really quick disclaimer before we get into the meat of the video. I've got a really bad throat at the moment, which means that some of my talking's a little bit quiet. Also, my voice doesn't sound great. And when I was recording this video, it was absolutely chucking it down. So please bear that in mind when you're watching this video. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Parkas. My name's Jake and today I'm here at a very rainy Flamingo Land. I'm currently just taking shelter under the Riverside One stage. But today I'm going to be showing you all the arcades here at Flamingo Land. Now, somebody requested this video a couple of weeks ago and I thought it was an interesting idea. So before we get started, I am going to just point out that if you do have any video suggestions or things you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments because I would as well. I'll probably do them. Um, so there are about two main arcades here at Flamingo Land. There is the, the one in the club, which is we'll, we'll get to it shortly. And then there's also one in the Zanzibar food market. Now, as well as these two main arcades, there are a couple of sort of smaller positions and places that, you know, I'll, I'll show you in this video as well. The first is Heroverse, which was a sort of like a, a replacement for the old Couplins that used to be there. Um, when you exit the Hero, like the Hero roller coaster, you go straight through it. Now, there's plenty of machines in there. There's a couple of two P pushing machines, there's a lot of ticket based machines um, and also you can buy a you can buy a bacon sandwich from there as well which is quite important especially on days like today. Uh, the other miniature arcade is in the hub and uh, the hub is the sort of entrance plaza for the Flamingo F1 ride um, and yeah there's quite a few machines in there as well it, you can buy your photos from the kiosk in the middle uh, you can also buy snacks and drinks and just everything like that there are a fair few machines, there's a couple of down the clowns, there's again some 2P pushers, however these are just the smaller arcades and they're kind of supporting the bigger ones. I'm going to go into the club now and I'm going to show you around the arcade in there. So the club is located just behind the cliffhanger attraction and just next to the balloon race which is over the other side. Um, and this is open to all guests during the day and if you are staying over there is nightly entertainment uh, in one of their events rooms. So we'll go in under the canopy. As I said, it is very, very cold and rainy today. So apologies if you can't hear what I'm saying. So it's quite a nice bar area on the left. And over here we've got the arcade. Uh, it's quite big, so I'll do my best to show you around. Uh, we've got tons of tickets there. It's worth pointing out as well whilst I'm here, you can get reloadable fun cards for the machine so you don't have to be carrying loads of cash around. There's plenty of points, apologies it is really loud in here. So sorry there wasn't much talking in that last clip. You might have been able to hear me say that it was really, really loud in there and there was loads of noise coming from different places. So I thought I'd just talk about it outside. So the club is open every day at Flamingoland from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. for day visitors. And it is open later in the evening if you're staying over. I say I've come outside for some quiet, but I'm stood next to Mumbo Jumbo with its loud lift hill. Um, so that might have been a little bit of a mistake. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it is quite a good arcade. There's a, a massive range of machines. Um, it's, it's fantastic, really. There's, um, there's a couple of cotton candy machines in there as well, which are perfect if you've got a sweet tooth like myself. You see Mumbo Jumbo going around there. 
Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go around now and show you the other arcade in the Zanzibar food market. I'm also gonna show you a couple of the game stalls, but they're not all open today. Uh, so yeah, you have to make do with that. And if you wanna see on the ride footage from Mumbo Jumbo, you can check out the video on the channel. There are two on ride POVs on my channel now from Mumbo Jumbo. One was filmed in 2021 on a really, really cheap rubbish Amazon camera. And more recently, I uploaded one in 4K filmed on a GoPro. So if you'd like to, please make sure to check those out and try and support the channel as much as you can. That'd be lovely. And just next to the uh, Zanzibar Pirate Show is the Zanzibar Arcade. Uh, it's located between the Pirate Show, as just said, and the Zanzibar Food Market. So I'll pop in here and I'll show you around. Again, there won't be much talking in this section of the video, but I'll talk about it very shortly afterwards. This is an example of one of the prize booths. We've got plenty of prizes here, uh, ranging from your armor. You saw bigger prizes which are kept at the back there. You've got loads of things. You've got some sweets, got some little electronic things, Bluetooth speakers there, and plenty of bits at the back. And of course, loads of chocolate, which is good. There's some sweets at the bottom there. It does also back on to the food market so you can go and get some food after you're done in the arcade. It's also worth pointing out that you can exit the Zanzibar arcade uh, through these doors which takes you into Dine Oak Stone Park. You can just see the sign for it over there in the entrance archway. Um, this is quite good for accessibility so if you are at this part of the park and you want to be through at the Pirate Show you can see the top of the ship there and then you can go straight through. So the Zanzibar Arcade is a very, pretty decently sized arcade. It's about the same size as the one in the hub. Um, it's got some decent theming uh, with the sort of the entrance signs and all the, there's kind of quite a bit of shrubbery inside as well. Um, it's pretty good. It's quite big. There's loads of machines in there. And yeah, those are the arcades at Flamingoland. There's not really that much to say about them, unfortunately. Um, you know, they're, they're tidy, they're well-maintained. Uh, and the prizes, most importantly, the prizes are pretty good. So other than that, not really much to say about them. I've shown you around. You should have a pretty good idea for the like now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. There will be daily videos for the entirety of 2024. So there's plenty of, plenty of stuff that you don't want to miss out on. Thanks very much. My name's Jake and you've been watching Park Essen. See you later.